In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an image and perfectly track it on a non-planar surface, such as clothing, skin, and more. First up, make sure you're using the latest version of Filmora, or at least version 14.7.2. Go to the Effects tab and scroll down, look for Boris FX, click on it, and download the Mocha Filmora plugin. Once the Mocha Filmora is downloaded and installed, restart Filmora for the plugin to take effect. Start a new project with your video material imported to the media pool. Then, drag and drop your video clip onto the timeline. Let's have a look on the video we're going to work on today. We're going to add a cute dog on the hoodie. Select the video clip, go to the Effects tab again, and find Mocha Filmora under the Boris FX section. Click the Add icon or simply drag and drop the effect onto your clip. Go to the Effect tab on the top right and click Launch Mocha UI. A new window with advanced tracking tools will appear. No worries, I'll guide you through the process. First, set the interface to Classic Mode to make navigation easier. Next, click the X-Spline tool to begin drawing the tracking zone. You can zoom in for more precision by scrolling up with your mouse. Start outlining the tracking area on the hoodie, and once you're done, right-click to complete the selection. Then add a planar surface and align it with the direction of the clothing to make sure the tracking is accurate. Now go to Preferences in the bottom left corner and enable both Perspective and Mesh. You'll notice that a mesh is automatically generated in the preview window. Here, I would like to change the generation mode from automatic to uniform. Then, adjust the mesh size to around 19 for higher tracking precision and click Generate Mesh. You'll now see that the mesh in the tracking zone appears as densely packed dots, giving you a much finer tracking grid. Next, click the Track Forward button and wait for the tracking process to complete. Once tracking is finished, go back to the first frame, click Insert, and import your desired image. You'll now see the image placed onto the hoodie. Now we're going to make some adjustments so the image looks more naturally integrated into the clothing. Go to the Transform tab, adjust the scale and y-axis scale to fix any horizontal stretching that may have occurred. This helps correct the image proportions. Then, go to the Comp tab and set the blending mode to Multiply. After that, tweak the opacity and gain settings. Different scenes may require different adjustments, so feel free to experiment with the values until it looks right. Now for an important step, make sure both Grid Warp and Power Mesh Warp are enabled. These ensure that the image deforms correctly along with the movement of the clothing. Once everything is set, save the project and close the Mocha window. Finally, back in Filmora, enable rendering so you can preview the effect properly. Let's check out the final result.